Hi guys, it's Ian Coleman. It is Monday the 24th of May 2021, quarter past 10 in the morning in the UK. Um, very little in the way of news drivers uh, over the weekend or today. Uh, commodity prices are, uh, are being sold off on the back of uh, China. China uh, restricting people uh, hoarding um, commodities. Um, one thing I have seen uh, this morning uh, which has sparked my interest is sterling uh, really looking across the uh, individual uh, single currency charts there's very little really in the way of anything to spark an interest uh, but <clears throat> sterling on a decent breakout reflecting it back onto uh, the normal charts if you like or the uh, the sterling crosses uh, looks quite favorable so let's get to the charts um, the first one we've got is the uh, US dollar. Um, as I said in previous conversations or previous videos, potentially looking for this move to the upside. Now this is a daily chart, so we can see that although we've had sort of intraday uh, volatility in uh, dollar majors, we've really consolidated for about 10 days now, um, and that is producing a lot of fake breakouts. So mild bullish bias still, if you look at this chart though, four hour chart, could this be a bit descending uh, triangle formation? So we really need to make a clear breakout uh, of uh, this trend of lower highs uh, to continue uh, a bullish bias for um, the dollar. Um, and again, Euro really sort of in no man's land. It is pushing higher this morning. Um, we've got a very confused <laughs> uh, eight hour chart sort of I was looking to see what uh, cipher patterns uh, we could potentially get and both of them the sort of highlighting potential for a move lower in BC legs but also for a potential to move up here so again sort of why focus on the euro uh, when there's for me uh, better, better single currencies uh, to look at so sterling like I said is really in focus um, same as last week, we've got this uh, very large formation or potential formation coming down in the BC leg uh, on the weekly chart. If we go to this time frame, which is a favoured time frame, 88.6% uh, and a wedge breakout. Now, when we look at sterling against the US dollar, we've had a wedge breakout and we've, we've come back inside the wedge. And here on the single currency chart, we've not actually clearly... Uh, broken the wedge formation so what I think could happen here we just go to the hourly is you could have the potential for a head and shoulders inside that formation so this would be your left shoulder <coughs> excuse me a bit of a cold this morning uh, this would be uh, a neckline this would be a right shoulder so sort of selling into uh, sterling strength and the other currency well let's have a look at yen first because that's quite important so we look at yen and we look at swiss and we look at the dollar really for uh, risk appetite we've had this wedge formation breakout but we've again consolidated for quite a long time now uh, mid afternoon on the 19th of may um, buying into retests of the breakout uh, line is favored so plenty of scope uh, for yen to move to the downside and as such uh, risk assets could uh, or stock indices could uh, have a sustained recovery. Um, let's have a look at New Zealand dollar. Again, we're sort of just holding on. We did get a bit of a lift to the upside on Friday uh, that gave uh, our New Zealand uh, trades uh, potential, if you like, but it stalled again. Commodities uh, probably affecting this uh, setup slightly. Um, if commodities are selling off, then New Zealand dollar will have a tendency to weaken as well. So um, it's weakening uh, that uh, potential uh, setup. But again, uh, the favoured side is to be buying uh, New Zealand dollar, not selling it. So when we think about that, Sterling New Zealand uh, has the potential to move lower. So obviously wedge breakout on the single currency chart, potential side for pattern. A bullish cipher pattern on the single currency chart uh, should offer a downside bias in sterling New Zealand and if we go to this chart first this is an 88.6% pullback level 
if you've watched my videos you know I'm quite fanatical about them because they are the potential for a BC leg and you've got limited um, risk with very decent reward if we go to this chart I'll just make this a bit bigger two hour chart we've got a lovely cipher pattern so here I think there's potential uh, for quite a decent move to the downside obviously 194.12 is uh, prime support so playing the single currencies and playing the cipher pattern sterling uh, New Zealand is looking quite bearish today uh, let's have a look at cable like I said we've had that wedge uh, breakout but again I'll just be a little bit wary I think if you're playing the breakout then you're going to have to be uh, quite happy uh, to add back in around about 142 the figure uh, for a potential head and shoulders pattern and let's just look at that again um, da -da 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 -da, he says so that would look a bit like this and again I'm not saying buy this leg uh, my much preferred uh, trade is to be short of sterling as I keep on reiterating so you know potential uh, for uh, right shoulder resistance here and it all really depends on how uh, sterling uh, reacts and just remember when we go back to the single currency charts this wedge formation or this wedge breakout hasn't completed as yet okay guys um, hopefully there's a bit more action in uh, in other uh, currency pairs today and I can come back with some more insights but at the moment it's probably looking like that's going to be it for the day okay good luck uh, and I'll be back again soon uh, with some more insights. Many thanks.